We all have our bombshell side. It's sexy and edgy, but still soft and feminine, so here's a tutorial that'll bring out your inner bombshell. I'm starting out with a bare face, and I'm gonna apply my favorite oil by Tarte. It's great for my dry skin. To apply my foundation, I'm gonna use a kabuki brush to get a more full coverage effect, since this look is slightly more dramatic, and my face is a little broken out right now. I'm gonna do a light highlight and contour using the Motives Sculpt Series palette. I'm applying the lightest color to my under eye area, around my mouth, and at the center of my forehead. Now using the darker shade in the palette, I'm going to contour my cheekbones and my hairline and just a little bit at the tip of my nose. Then I'm gonna blend it out. I'm going through this pretty quickly, but I've got an updated highlight contour video coming soon, so look out for that. When I blend this out, I'm starting with the lighter color first, then moving on to the darker contour shade. That way I'm not diluting the highlight. And of course I want to set this with a good powder, so I'm using the NYX Blotting Powder in Medium. And moving on to the blush, I'm using this baked blush by NYX and it's called Foreplay. I like to apply this in small circular motions just because it gives a more glowy finish. And now I'm going to use my big fan brush by Pirouette Professional to add a nice highlight to my cheekbones with the Mary Luminizer Highlighting Powder. And since I don't want this video to get super long, I'm just gonna skip ahead here with one eye done. Now to prep my lids, I'm gonna use a neutral cream base. And using a blending brush, I'm just gonna blend out the edges above my crease. For this look, I'm using my Vice 2 palette, and I'm starting off with radar all over my lids up to my crease. I'm holding a tissue under my eyes just so the shadow doesn't fall onto my face. And of course, gotta blend. Now I'm using a black jumbo pencil and applying this to the very outer corner of my eye, just along the lash line and extending into my crease a little bit. I'm also going to apply this at the very inner corner of my eye as well. Okay, now using a tiny blending brush, I'm gonna blend out just the edges of this pencil. And for a more blended look, I'm gonna dip into Ambush and use this to blend out the outer edges above my crease even more. Just apply this in a windshield wiper motion all across your crease. Okay, it's time for the liner. I'm using my Inglot Matte Gel Eyeliner in black, and I'm applying this with an angled liner brush. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'm gonna blend it out. Now using a small brush, I'm gonna go through and smoke out the liner, but do this immediately because this liner dries very quickly. And now I'm gonna use whatever is left on my liner brush and just add some darkness to the bottom lash line as well. And this time I'm gonna dip my brush into Ambush and use it to both blend out the liner and create a smoky look. And now for the fun part. I'm taking my Stila Foil Finish Eyeshadow in Kitten and applying this just at the very center of my lids to make them pop. You have to be really careful applying this product so I just use a really small brush. And you can see here, I'm using the tip of the brush to blend out the edges. And I'm just gonna intensify the other side a bit more. And now I'm ready for mascara. I'm using my Ico Black Magic Mascara for extra drama. And I'm just gonna fill in my brows a bit using my Hourglass Brow Pencil for a fuller and more polished look. And anytime you're filling in your brows, you want to make sure you brush them up first and then start filling in. Yeah. 
And finally, the lips. I'm applying my Dose of Colors lipstick in Koi, and for extra flirty lips, I'm gonna apply my Girlactic Gloss in Just Nude over it. And that wraps up this bombshell makeup tutorial. I hope you guys loved it. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and be sure to like and share. Love you guys, see you next time.